做戏，如何啊做戏，如何做你发。不给嘛，不给嘛。Culinary Cuz, where we show you how to cook food and all that good stuff with the Cuz without a fuss. My name is Tama, but you can call me Tama. And today I'll be showing you how to make a delicacy or something that I like to call bread, or as otherwise known as. Hey boy, go to the shop. Here's five dollars. Bring back the change. For today's fiesta, here are the ingredients we'll be cooking with today. We're going to need one whole cup of standard white flour, half a cup of clear water, one packet of active dry yeast, one free-range egg, and one teaspoon of sugar and one teaspoon of iodized table salt. First, we're going to start off this creation by beating our egg. Just going to take the egg. There she is, beauty. Then you're gonna take a whipper or a beater, or in this case a fork, and you're just gonna go ahead. Just gonna break that yolk up. You're gonna give that a nice little, little beating. There you go, just like that. So that's shown. Now our egg has been completed. We're just gonna go ahead and add all of our ingredients into this here bowl. This is a bowl. Uh, it's durable and heat resistant. Two very important things for a reason. I'm just going to go ahead, pour that flour into that bowl. Mm, nice and nice and a, a fine white powder. Then you're going to go ahead, put your water in there. Get a nice little pour, just like that. And you're going to go ahead, take your yeast, give a little swish around. Guess what we're going to do? Drop that big boy in there. Then we're going to take the egg yolk or the egg. Give that a nice little mix. Correction after we do all this. So now we're going to take our um, torture device. Make dark memories on this, and we're just going to give this little mixture here a nice little mix. So we're just going to just go ahead, give it a turn, a couple turns, till it's nice and thick. Nice and thick. I know a better way of doing this. Well, that was way easier. So now we've finished that, for real dough, we're going to give this a little spray. So to give it a spray, you just take some spray and then you spray it inside the pan. Make sure you give it a good spray in all the corners. Corners especially, those are a big one. I'll just give you a look. Nice and sprayed. Nice and sprayed. So now we've got most of the dough done, we're going to take it with a spoon and try sort of just fight it out of there. You know what I'm saying? It's never an easy job. Oh. Oh. Now, as it seems, this loaf will most likely not make a suitable size if you get where I'm going. So you sort of just want to make it sure so that it's about a half loaf, so it's not real squished. So I generally just put it in the corner there, just like that. So we've got our bread here. We've just set our oven to bake at about 200 degrees. Oh, nice and hot. So we're just going to do, we're just going to throw this in there. Let it bake for a good, maybe, 20 minutes. It should be all good. We'll come back and check it out later. So our bread's been in the oven for about 21 minutes now. Um, I'd say it's time to bring it out. You agree? Yes, you agree. Oh, she's beauty. Oh, smells good. Oh, still hot. Nice half a loaf. It seems like our bread here has been a success. It's about saving of about $3, maybe $2.50. You got a nicely sized loaf with a nice bag. Okay, let's go try it. Mmm, smells like bread. To serve, take some butter, put it on your bread, just give it a give it a nice give it a nice uh, spread, you know. Get all those corners, all those corners. Oh, that's salivating, I'll tell you.
Must be my lunchtime. Mm. Homemade bread. Nothing beats it, man, I'll tell you.